Smart Culture, Mathematics. In this video, we'll learn about translations, reflections, and rotations. Next, we'll talk about translations. So this transformation is also called a slide and can also be done in steps. Translation can be within quadrants or across quadrants. Let's take a look at this example. Again, the blue triangle is the original triangle and then the green triangle is the image of the blue triangle. So the green triangle has been translated. Let's take a look at this example. Translate the figure eight units to the left and two units down. So now we basically have to slide this figure eight units to the left and then two units down. Let's start. So first we'll start with point M. Now we slide it eight units to the left and two units down. Then we take point N, we slide it eight units to the left and two units down. Then we connect these two points. Next we'll focus on point I, eight units to the left, two units down. J, eight units to the left, two units down. And K, eight units to the left and two units down. Lastly, L, eight units to the left and two units down. The next step will be for us to connect all these points. You'll notice that these two figures are congruent. Let's talk about reflections. So this is a type of transformation. This is a flip over action to obtain a mirror image relative to the mirror line. So what is the mirror line? Here you can see the mirror line. So triangle ABC or the blue triangle in this case is the original triangle and then the green triangle is the image of the blue triangle. You can see that the green triangle has been reflected. It is a reflection of the blue triangle. Let's take a look at another example question. Reflect the figure below in the given line of reflection. So what we'll do first is we'll reflect the points of the figure perpendicularly across the line of reflection. So let's start with D. You'll see that point D is five units away from the line of reflection. So the image of point D should also be five units away from the line of reflection. So this is the image of point D. Let's move on to point C. You'll see that it is three units away from the line of reflection. So this is the image of point C. Let's move on to point H. This is the image of point H. You'll see that point G is only one unit away from the line of reflection. F is actually four units away from the line of reflection. And then lastly, point E. So this is the image of point E. Now we have to join the reflected points. It's very important for you to check that a point and its image are at equal distances from the line of reflection. Also remember to check whether the figure and its image are still congruent. Moving on to rotations. So this transformation involves rotating or swinging clockwise or counterclockwise around the center of rotation. So the, the important part here is the center of rotation. 
you can see it is indicated on the diagram as well. So here we have a 120 degree rotation. The original triangle is again the blue triangle and then the green triangle is the image of the blue triangle. The green triangle has been rotated 120 degrees around the point of rotation or the center of rotation. Let's take a look at this example question. Rotate triangle ABC 90 degrees clockwise about point P. Let's start. So the first step will be to rotate each point of the figure 90 degrees clockwise about the center of rotation. So as you can see, B is one unit to the left and two units above point P. Now let's rotate it by 90 degrees. So this will be the image of point B. Let's move on to point A. So you'll see that point A is three units away from point B. So this will be the new position of point A. This is the image of point A. Let's take a look at point C. Point C is six units to the left and three units above point P. So now we have to rotate this point by 90 degrees clockwise. So this will be the new position of point C. This is the image of point C. Now we have to join the rotated points. Remember to check that the angle formed by a point, the center of rotation and the point's image is 90 degrees clockwise. For online tutoring or additional resources, visit our website www.smartculture-education.com. Subscribe down below. It's easy.